Colorado, amazingly, is leading the way as the rest of the state marches off the cliff. Today, the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, signed a bill that will let citizens refuse to help a police officer in Chief Breaking News correspondent Trace Gallagher has more on that, that story. Hey, Trace. And Tucker, the Democratic state lawmaker who sponsored that bill, says that being forced to help a police officer in need is a, quote, outdated requirement that subjects citizens to an untenable moral dilemma. In other words, an internal struggle over whether helping police is right or wrong. Well, now that California Governor Gavin Newsom has signed the bill, residents can rest easy because now they can legally ignore police in distress. Though the State Sheriff's Association argues, quote, there are situations in which a peace officer might look to private persons for assistance in matters of emergency or risks to public safety, and we are unconvinced that this statute should be repealed. Others believe this is nothing more than California continuing to drive a wedge between the public and police. And the publication Law Enforcement Today points out that nobody ever got charged with not helping police, saying this is really about reminding people that police officers in trouble will have to fend for themselves. Newsom's office says the law is outdated and no longer in use. But remember, it comes just weeks after the governor signed a bill giving California police officers the toughest standard in the country when it comes to using force. Instead of reasonable force, it's now necessary force. Civil rights groups say the law is aimed at lowering the disproportionate number of police shootings on communities of color. Tucker. Chris Gallagher, thanks a lot for that. Yeah. Well, the Biden campaign for president was already preparing for a letdown in the state of Iowa. Now they're telling us that New Hampshire could be a disappointment, too. Huh?